shortly after he left, after he was forced out of government, correct? That's correct. Right. Everybody agrees with that. Yes. But what I'm hearing is everybody agrees that he was instrumental in delaying and giving time to the opposition to the deportation to the death camps. That is correct. And I, I think, you know, you look at, he, he was the one who had access to the king, the prime minister, and, every, and, and government. Um, he goes to them immediately to, the, he goes and uses his connections within the government to cancel those orders, and at the same time, you know, that, that, that protest on one end helped create, that was the catalyst for protests by people and by the church, and, and kind of everyone came together uh, over this issue. And it's really the only example we see of that, and I, I, that I can find in all of World War II, um, where the whole society says, well, we, 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 you know, no, we're going to keep our Jews here. Mr. I might, Mr. Chairman, yes, sir. Um, I would posit that uh, Mr. Peshev was the single catalytic figure leading this movement against the deportation of the Jews. And as my colleagues have noted, uh, you had a Bulgarian society that was far more tolerant than many other societies in Eastern Europe. And many of the intellectuals and leading civic figures in Bulgaria were uh, quite proud of their tolerance, but was a tiny percentage of Bulgaria's population. About 1% of Bulgaria was Jewish. But it was the government that entered into a strategic alliance with Nazi Germany, probably because they believed that the Nazis would eventually prevail in Europe. And so you had the government on the one hand, and Mr. Peshev, ironically, was one of those that approved of the original laws uh, against the Jewish citizens of Bulgaria. But the historical documentation that I've reviewed, sir, demonstrates that the Bulgarians really did not share the anti-Semitic agenda of Nazi Germany when they entered into the tripartite axis. And so the Nazis had to force uh, the Bulgarians to establish a special commissariat for Jewish relations. And a pathologically anti-Semitic Bulgarian took over that commissariat. And he put together a secret arrest and deportation plan. And this was kept secret even from people such as Dimitar Peshev. And at first, when he learned about it, he couldn't believe that this could be taking place because he couldn't without his authorization as vice chairman of the assembly. But he was persuaded by several of his child